Is there mm-hmm. anything you would like to say to our white listeners today? Man. The first thing maybe I'd like to say is, is thank you for listening. Uh, you know, thank you for staying for such a conversation. I know it more than likely made, uh, may have made you uncomfortable at certain uh, parts and points. Um, but after that, I think that, you know, the request that I would have is um, Google. Google, Google books, Google history, um, Google truth to understand that the narrative that you have been given about black people is not true. And you have been given a lie and your identity and the life that you live right now is literally built off a lie. Therefore it is a house of cards that quite literally depends on the mercy of black bodies Mm -hmm. because the moment that um, black people cease fighting for equality and start wanting revenge uh, you're going to be in a much different situation and so Mm -hmm. I think the plea that I have is um, that white people actually change their hearts and minds and and do the intellectual work necessary to, to come to new knowledge Um, so that we don't have to keep losing life, um, continuing to provoke um, the anger of of my people, and and quite frankly, continuing to provoke the anger of God. Um, Thomas Jefferson, he, in the draft of the um, Declaration of Independence, closed with um, that slavery would um, be the thing that God would judge America on. Mm. Of course, the founding fathers decided to remove that <laughs> in the draft. Uh, so it's like, oh, that, I hear you, but uh, let's go ahead and take that one out. Let's go ahead. Uh, no, thank you. Um, and so um, I truly believe that. And I think that God is giving um the church and he's giving our nation an opportunity to restructure um mm-hmm. to revamp to rethink to reimagine to re-narrate um so that we can get it right um and i do believe that in not getting it right you put yourself in a position to where at some point Uh, you will receive the wrath of God Mm -hmm. concerning um, the oppression, the global oppression of black and brown bodies. So my, my, my plea is for white people to get it right. Mm -hmm. And what would you say to black people? These are two questions I always end with before we pray. (laughs) To black people, I would say, stay strong. (laughs) To black people, I would say, do not become what you are seeking to dismantle. Mm, yeah. Do not envy what you are, are seeking to distribute, uh, but instead to stay grounded mm-hmm. and to understand that we are fighting for a human right um, and that God is on our side. My hoodie says God is woke. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was wondering that. <laughs> yeah, my honey says God is woke. Um, and so if I could encourage, you know, any black listener that's listening in any country, you know, mm-hmm. understand that God is on the side of the oppressed. Yeah. And that uh, whatever fight you are in, whether you are fighting femicide in South Africa, you're fighting police brutality in the States, whether you are fighting belonging and representation right there in Ireland, um, whatever uh, you are fighting in this racial, this global racial fight, um, know that God is on your side. So stay strong um, and do not envy what you seek to dismantle. Mm, I love that. 
I love that. If um, you would like, um, please follow Claudia and um, subscribe to her YouTube channel. She has a lot of sermons um, and just conversations on race and, and God and Bible and all sorts of things. I don't know if you're on Instagram. Um, yes. 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 Claudia M. Allen as well? or Absolutely. Yeah. You can find me on Instagram at C-A-M-A-A-L-365. But if you just type my name in, it should come up too. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Well,